All right, well then I'm recording, at least at the point where you're stuffing the wires back into the armature of the mirror. So, folks, this use. is the um, progress we've made on the mirror. I'm gonna tell you, you weren't missing much except for several expletive deleted in managing to get all of the bolts and wires that were cut very, very short when it was assembled at the factory. Yeah, pretty much at the end of the day, folks, more than likely what they did at the factory is right behind this thing, if I pull this arm up, which is basically removing one bolt, which is a 9 16 and then you basically have to turn this arm. There's actually a safety tooth that allows this thing to come undone. But inside, you can see the wire goes into the dash. The way the diagram is showing in the pictures, this comes off, and you've actually got the little black wire you saw me stuffing back up in there, which is for my camera. The other cable is for the actual heated mirror and the power mirror, which I don't have hooked up. As you noticed, I tucked it back up in there. The reason that I did that is because the actual wire harness cable is in here. You're supposed to have slack where you can pull that through and disconnect it and reconnect it. There is zero slack. Yeah. So more than likely inside the dash, which would require me to tear this whole thing apart, I would have to tear it apart and find it. Instead, since I just bought it and I'm going to be taking it to General RV for them to do a bunch of PDI work anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it to them and I'm going to make them tear it apart and figure it out because they're gonna have to tear that dash piece off anyway to figure out why the power lock module isn't working. So I figured I'll get it running. I went in and manually adjusted the mirrors using uh, the bug's help. Yes. We used our walkies. Again, a few expletive deletives there to get it <laughs> figured out, you know, left, right, up, down. My real problem here is that I can't really leverage this, uh, this bottom convex mirror because the, now we get to the other part. So. The old mirror folks this little piece right here should be right here to raise that mirror up unfortunately the way it's built the harness was put on after they ran the cylinder through mm -hmm. so that's another piece I can't do so we're gonna take this to them and I'm gonna say you need to cut this off put this cylinder on wait for the tour chopper yeah yeah so I'm gonna have them remove this and uh, put this collar on and they'll have to cut the wire harness, repin it, and then put it up there so yep. that it's at the right height. Because right now I can only use the top mirror. I wasn't really using the bottom anyway, honestly, but, <laughs> but the top one I needed and it doesn't, it's not as high, so I don't get as much of a view, but I get enough where I can legally drive this and I can see what's going on around me. So that's the important part. But we're gonna take this down to General RV and we're gonna get them to swap this out for us. So it shouldn't be that big a deal. But so, now we have a mirror where we can see down the side of the beastie so we can drive it so that's the short story yeah. for the mirror yeah next to come will be the electronics and at least we'll be inside where it's a little warmer than it is outside <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, uh, I gotta the canadians it. brought their drunk weather with them when they came down to florida on vacation so yeah. <laughs> we'll touch base when we start working on that. No offense to anybody who's Canadian watching. Absolutely. 